Hey everyone, it's Kelly Bunny LPS here. So, um, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial video because one person commented they don't exactly know how to add their own part to, um, sorry, add the music to their own MAP part. So, I'm just going to give a couple of ways on how. So, one of the first easy ways to do it is to use another electronic device such as your laptop, tablet, or phone and go to the part um, that you have and then just play the music in the background. I will do a demonstration. So, part three is my part. So, if you look at the time, part three starts at... Basically, like, barely 20 seconds. I'll use my cat, Alora, since I'm going to be using her as Ash Nico, so, yeah. And I'm recording on my phone, so I'm going to press the space bar and just do this. One, two, three. And then I press the space bar again to pause. I zoomed forward, and... So it should have came out like this. I'll do it again so you guys can see. So that's one way to do it. Another way are to try um, some of these apps. The ones that I use or used to use. Um, this is one I used to use called Video Effects. I don't use it anymore because it's just old, but yeah. And the other one to use is Viva Video. I still use that one to record, but yeah. If you guys need help how to download music, I will show you. So keep in mind, this website you can also use on your phone, but I'm going to use it on my laptop for this part, So you can, but you can do it, use it on my phone. So the website is called mp3juices.cc. It's a, it's a music downloader. So pretty much what you're going to do, sorry, <laughs> you're going to, you're going to highlight the link up here and then press cop, sorry, copy, go to mp3 juices and then use paste and then press the search bar and then let it load, let's it do its thing. And then it should pull up, and then just click download. And then wherever you store music, um, it should be there in your files. Like, it should appear maybe like Google Play Music or something. Once you're done that, I'm going to show you guys the, how to work the apps. Okay guys, so today we're going to be, show I'm going to show you how to use Viva Video Pro. So, keep in mind, Viva Video Pro, if you don't have it, um, you can just use the regular free Viva Video. Um, so I'm just going to show you what to do. So you go to capture and here it is on my camera. I'm just checking if it's still recording. Okay, good. You go to music lens. Oh, sorry. Oh, it, it always switches to the face. <laughs> anyway, um, so then you go, you tap, uh, sorry, you tap choose music, go to your music. And then scroll down to the song. So I still have it, obviously. So since it started at twenty seconds, I'm gonna fr I'm gonna tr trim it to where I want it to start. Okay, obviously it's a little bit off, but whatever. <laughs> so press use. And then you start recording. She looks like Sorry. <laughs> when you make a mistake, just press undo. I always forget that they always do it off point. I don't know why. It's just been glitchy a little bit, but yeah. Then you pause it and then zoom in again. Mm. 
Then press the chip mark when you're done. Oh. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sorry about that guys. So keep in mind that um, the reason why I ended up like that is because of me, because of my screen recorder. I promise you when you record, the camera will flip to landscape mode. So just so you guys know, it's not the editor, it's my freaking screen recorder. But anyway, um, once you're done recording, the audio should be there. So just press play and it should sound like this. Sensation. She looks like the type to break it. Me and your girlfriend playing dress up in my house. Mm. I gave your girlfriend cuddling so much out. So there you go. <laughs> and that's how you add the audio. And yeah, this is like I said, it's not a tutorial on how to <laughs> use a video. I mean, video, a video if you want to know how. I mean, they have a couple of effects. Sensation. She looks like the but yeah, I'm not going to get into that, but those are just a couple of ways to add in some audio, and I just wanted to show you guys that. So yeah, I personally recommend Viva Video because it's really good for recording purposes. This is mainly for people with Android. Um, people with iPhones, um, I would say um, use, oh, what is it? Oh, Video Star. Duh. <laughs> for iPhone users, of course, use Video Star, whatever other editors you may use. But I hope this helped, so thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye!